All right, I'm thrilled to finally have my hands on a Dell Inspiron Duo convertible tablet netbook. Uh, it is a 10-inch netbook, which is fairly typical size for these devices, but that's where the typical stops with this one, because it's got a dual-core N550 processor in it, it's got a 7200 RPM hard drive, which is quite a bit quicker than standard, and it's got a HD 1366 by 768 screen, which is great. Um, you'll notice it is a little bit beefier than your typical netbook. It's got kind of big borders around the edges, and that's because we need those to hold on to while we're using it in tablet mode. Uh, it does have a nice rubberized coating on the surface which makes it feel great and on the back side I've got these grooves here on either side which happen to line up perfectly with the fingers and make it very comfortable in hand. Uh, if you look around the edges you'll notice that there are no ports around the edges that are exposed with the exception of perhaps the power port here. Uh, I think that's in keeping with the design of the device. They designed to be somewhat casual so we don't want a lot of ports that we're going to try to grab a hold of. It's also easier to hold without ports in the way. Uh, the only ports it actually has are under these doors here. I've got two USB ports and a audio out port if I want to hook up some headphones or some earbuds. Uh, noticeably absent is a video out port, uh, so think about that if you're looking at this device. You're not going to be able to hook it up to a projector unless you use something like a USB uh, adapter, which is obviously less than ideal. Also, another drawback on this particular device is it's only got a four cell battery, so I've found that I can only get about three hours of battery life, so if battery life's important to you, again, this might not be the device for you. However, it is an excellent little device and I really have enjoyed using it. Uh, if you do want to get some more ports out of it or get some more use out of it, they offer this additional dock, which you see here. This is the uh, JBL speaker dock, great speakers in the dock. And on the back side of it, it's got more ports, as I said. I can get a full uh, wired Ethernet port. I get two more USB ports here. And I've got an SD socket here. Yes, the SD socket is in the dock, unfortunately, not in the laptop. Another big bummer, but I can see why they might have made the trade-offs. So let's take a look inside the device. And as, as I open it up, you'll notice it's a typical netbook fare. I've got, uh, you know, the, a little bit bigger area, but overall it's about the same. Uh, it feels like brushed aluminum. I think it's plastic, but it sure feels nice. Uh, it's got a couple of uh, discrete buttons, which is great. It doesn't have a click pad, which a lot of people hate. And of course, I have a full-size, very comfortable chiclet keyboard. This keyboard feels great, and it's great for doing a lot of work on. One of the big beefs I've had with tablets, for example, is that the only way you can work on them is with the non-screen keyboard. Non-screen keyboards really suck. So if I want to answer 100 emails, I'm not going and grabbing for the tablet. I'm grabbing for something with a keyboard. Also, I've got a full operating system on this one, so it has the capability of doing everything that I might want to do. I don't have any limits. Um, that said, let's talk about the operating system a little bit. This one's running Ubuntu. I'm running Ubuntu 10.10, .10, which is uh, Maverick Meerkat. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's got a much more touch-friendly interface than, say, Windows does. One of the things that Dell did with this machine stock is they put a funny UI on top of Windows to try to make it usable. And what they found is that it runs so slowly and badly that everybody ended up hating the device and uh, really hating on it in the reviews. But if you get the right software on it, it's really comfortable to use. So let's switch it over into casual mode and take a look at it as a tablet. As you can see, flipped around with the screen, it's very comfortable and hand again. It's in uh, landscape mode, as I said. Uh, and since I'm running a full desktop operating system, one of the drawbacks here is that things have a tendency to be a little bit small. This HD screen shrinks things down a little bit. But what I can do is I can zoom this in and make it much more touch friendly. So now I've got a finger friendly interface. Uh, I've got much bigger buttons down the left side here. I've got widgets on the desktop, much like you might see with a cell phone, but I'm actually making some good use of this real estate and putting something useful on it rather than just a grid of icons or, or a whole lot of nothing, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to tap on uh, Chrome here and let's get into a web browser. You'll see it's cap fully capable. Um, this is a typical Chrome web browser. I obviously have to have a touchscreen keyboard on this, so I've got uh, one called Florence. I tap on the little keyboard button and it pops up automatically. Uh, I can move this around anywhere I want on the screen, of course, and I can change the size by zooming in and out if I want to. Uh, but I don't really need to do that here. This is perfect size for me. So I'm going to move this down here and let's uh, take a look at some of that Flash content. For example, again, no uh, uh, Lego blocks on your pages. You're going to be able to do everything that you might want to do. Everything that requires a plug-in is going to work on this device, which is great. Uh, navigating the screen is typical for a uh, tablet-type device. I can you know, just point to an empty space and drag. Uh, and I can do this full-screen uh, flash content if I want to. Let's take a look at this thing full-screen. There we go. Okay, so we're running full screen flash, which is something that you just don't see out there on most devices. So again, nice to have the kind of horsepower that you might want to have do some of those really cool casual things. Uh, another thing that I like to do, obviously, is uh, you know read the news. So let's take a look at what the New York Times looks like. On this, we'll see how fast this loads. Again, it's going to load up very, very fast. And there's the Times. Again, I can point to empty spaces and I can drag around the page all I want to while it's loading here. 
Uh, and if I decide that I want to read it in landscape mode, of course, or in portrait mode, I can do that as well. I can go to screen orientation here and flip it around to the left. And it's going to flip for me. Now, the, uh, the I don't have the software yet in Ubuntu to actually detect the flip. It does have an accelerometer in here, but right now you have to flip manually. But that's really not a big deal. And as you can see, once again, I can scroll around just like I always would. Tap up here again. I'm going to go to screen orientation normal and flip it back around to landscape. Personally, I found that I like using it in landscape mode better than in portrait mode because I can see everything. I've got lots of wide amounts of space and those sorts of things. Uh, again, uh, Maverick is really great for touchscreen interfaces. I'm going to click on multiple desktops here and I'm going to pick a different desktop, fl flip over here and run a different application. Here's my app launcher as a big button. I've got the grids of icons like we're all familiar with, but I've got them divided up into categories, which is great. And I can scroll up and down. Let's take a look at uh, Tux Paint, for example. You know, great painting program for kids. Kids really love it. And the touchscreen interface is excellent uh, for actually using a painting program. Very, very quick. Um, you know, tremendously useful. I can do my typical stamps and things like that that I might do, you know, as a kid and have a lot of fun with this device. So it's a great little device to have a look at. I'd recommend that you check it out when you get a chance. Um, really lots of fun and uh, uh, great to sit on the couch and just uh, putter around with this thing. And yes, I'm done.